Welcome to this video. Here I'm going to show you how to plot cable block diagram. Please note I have already created a loop with two instruments. Each instrument has got its own cable. I've already created a junction box with its own cable and I have already created a PLC panel. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click on Go Block Connect. Right here on the left hand side you can see there's a gray area where there's nothing in at this moment. So first I have to create a block connect diagram and I'm going to right click on this say new block diagram or I can click on the new button up top. All right, click on the new button now I can give it a little name let's call it 300 JB01 dash BK for block diagram. I'll say OK and it is being created and opened. Right, here you can see my block connection diagram is open and at this moment it is an empty border. So what I want to do, I want to drag all my components onto this diagram to connect them. As you can see here, here are two tabs, the documents and the components tab. I'm going to click on the components tab now and click on loops. As you can see the one loop that I did create is there. I can click on it and by right click dragging I drag it onto this block connection diagram. As you can see my two instruments are in and they've already both got cables. Next I'll click on panels. I can select both by clicking on the top one and dragging my mouse down and I right click drag them onto this diagram. Now I can select and move the objects on this diagram or I can go and click on auto arrange here on the left hand side. If I click on that it's going to throw them all in a straight line underneath each other. Okay, as you can see this isn't quite what I want so I'll just select it all by pressing Control A just moving them back and I want to move these things out of the way quickly or in a more relevant position. So this is the way I want to connect my block diagram. I'm going to go from left to right and connect them. I'll start with the instrument Let's zoom in a bit so we can see how this is going to work. As you can see next to each of these objects there's all either a triangle or a circle. So I can go from this triangle, hold in my mouse button and drag it onto the circle. So these are the connection points and I can do that for the next one as well. Clicked on it, now let's go and connect between the JB and the PLC. So I'll zoom in on this side and I can just drag this across. Now these connections are made. Right, let's say I made a mistake somewhere. I accidentally connected this to the PLC. So this instrument to the PLC. Now let's say I go, go on this connection and I just press delete and it's going to give me a little pop-up that says remove selected object from diagram. I can say yes and as you can see it is gone on. But now this does not mean it is disconnected. This just means that that object has been removed from this diagram and it is still connected. How I can see that? I click on this and I can say build connections right there and you can see it brings in my connections as they were. Let's test this again. I'm going to delete the whole cable by pressing the delete button. Click on this instrument and, and say build connections and immediately you can see it is built right back. Okay, so the way I would disconnect this, I would click here and, and I would actually click on the disconnect button. Now it gives me a pop-up that says disconnect 300 JB from cable 300 LV and I say yes please. So when I click on this and I say build connections, nothing happens at all. Okay, so let's reconnect this and it is now connected. Also to see if any of these objects may have, have been removed, you can hit the refresh button. So if one of them have been deleted in the components area, they would then disappear from the diagram. There are also a few arrangement functions if you want them, the objects on this diagram to just appear neat. So I can just say auto arrange, that's the easiest one 
and it just auto arranges this whole thing for me. Now I can select them all and move it around on the diagram and I can also do things like let's say this I click on this JB I hold in control I click on the cable and now I can use these buttons right we can align bottoms align tops let's say I align tops align bottoms we can align lefts align rights and we can also align horizontal centers or vertical centers so okay let's just move this back so I can see what's going on All right, this is how we create a cable block diagram and that is the end of this video thank you so much